just been very honored to find out that the lines are long and the conservative lines, the Republican lines, are very long. It just seems that the conservatives are voting very powerfully. I feel very confident. I have uh, felt. You know, we went in with a very big lead today, and it looks like uh, Republicans have shown up in force. We did great in the first one. We did much better in the second one, but something happened. And uh, this was the best, I would say this was the best campaign we ran. Well, I hear, I don't know, uh, the people, you mean? Numbers of people? A lot of people. They'll be at the convention center at Mar-a-Lago. We have a lot of people. I've uh, just been very honored to find out that the lines are long, and the conservative lines, the Republican lines, are very long. We got back uh, pretty late last night, and uh, it was an honor. It was a great honor. We had four incredible rallies and uh, left Michigan late at night. Many of you are with us. And I hear we're doing very well. I hear we're doing very well. Are there any candidates you have working last year uh, in advance supporting your victory? We did a great job in that. We brought it back to the States, as you know. Uh, I believe in exceptions, as Ronald Reagan did. And we did a great job. We did something that uh, they have wanted to do for 52 years. Well, it'll be just that. We want to bring everybody in. We want to be very inclusive, and we will be very inclusive. Uh, we have a, a great country, but we have a country that's in trouble. It's in big trouble in many ways, and we have to straighten it out. We have crime is through the roof. We have people pouring through our borders that are uh, not exactly perfect. Uh, they come out of prisons. They come out of prisons. Uh, 13,000 people convicted of murder. Uh, we don't need this in our country. We have enough difficulty. We don't need that. So I think people saw that. And uh, it just seems that the conservatives are voting very powerfully. I feel very confident. I have uh, felt. You know, we went in with a very big lead today. And it looks like uh, Republicans have shown up in force. So we'll see how it turns out. But it seems that uh, they have really shown up in force. I just got a call from Dan Patrick in Texas, he said he, they've never seen anything like it. It's been very good. Look, regrets. You always have regrets. I can't think of any, to be honest, to use her expression. I can't think of any. Um, I, I, look, I ran a great campaign. I think it was maybe the best of the three. Uh, we did great in the first one. We did much better in the second one, but something happened. And uh, this was the best. I would say this was the best campaign we ran. That you and Vice President Harris both might not get to 270 electoral votes by the end of tonight? It should never happen. A thing like that should never happen. This election should be over. They spend all this money on machines. And frankly, if they'd use paper ballots, it would be over by 10 o'clock. And by the way, the paper ballots would cost 8%. It would be 8% of the cost. Uh, if they would use paper ballots, voter ID, proof of citizenship and one day voting, it would all be over by 10 o'clock in the evening. It's crazy. Uh, they use these very expensive computers, and they, I'm hearing in Pennsylvania they won't have an answer till two or three days from now. Uh, I, I think it's an absolute outrage if that's the case. Now, maybe it'll be later, but it's uh, paper ballots in France. They went paper ballots because the mail-in was not working. It was corrupt. 
And in France, they went paper ballots. And uh, at 10 o'clock in the evening, they had 37 million votes counted and done. They had a winner, they had a loser. And in this country, I mean, I'm just hearing that in certain states, uh, it's going to be a long time. And it, it won't even be close. It, it, it won't even be that close. They say, I'm going to win the state. But it's going to take a long time to certify it. Could you see a world, could you see a world where you don't declare victory tonight? Yeah, I mean, I'm hearing the same things that you're hearing. I'm hearing states where I'm up by a lot, but they won't have a final number for a long time. What is your strategy tonight in terms of watching the, the results and so forth? So we're going to have a uh, very special group of people, many of whom you know, and they'll be at Mar-a-Lago. In addition, we'll have four or 5,000 people at the convention center. On the assumption I win, I mean, I don't know if uh, something else happens. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of declaring victory, but if in normal times I would go over to the convention center, let's say at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or something, but I just don't know. It looks like we have a very substantial lead. It looks like we have many more Republicans voting today than Democrats. So if you have a lead and we have a bigger vote, that means you're doing very well, but they have to call a winner. They should, and they should call a winner, yes. I don't know, I was uh, honored to get Joe Rogan last night. I mean, if Joe Rogan's a big deal. He's a very uh, respected person. And I, I must tell you, Megan was fantastic. She got up and said some things that were really pretty amazing. Uh, but before that, I, I just think we ran a good campaign. I had good policy. I had, uh, we want people to come into our country, but they have to come in legally. You know, we want strong borders, and we want people to come in. We want to be totally inclusive, but they have to come in. I think that was a big issue. To me, that was the biggest issue. I may be wrong. You know, a lot of people said inflation. Inflation's a disaster, but I think it's a second issue. I think the first is the border. We can't allow uh, criminals to be put back into our country or to be put into our country. So you have 13,000-plus uh, murderers allowed to roam in our country. Not going to be allowed. They have to go. You have drug dealers. You have uh, terrorists. You have, you have a tremendous amount of people that should not be in our country. And